Hello class. Today I want to talk about project 5 which is uh, creating a photo collage of five different photos. Um, let's go over the project objective. Okay, so the student will create a collage using layers and cloning in Photoshop. Use five scanned photos or high-res photos from the web. So you are able to use uh, five photos, let's say if you have a digital camera or if you have high-res photos in your phone that you've taken. Um, I ask that you um, have uh, good taste in the photos that you choose. I don't want to see anything gory or bloody, so uh, just make sure that whatever that you choose to do, that it's something you would be proud of having in your portfolio. Okay, so if you feel embarrassed by it, don't do it, okay? All right, I just have to say that because sometimes I get surprised with what students uh, do and, and then when they come back and I tell them that the work that they've done is unprofessional. So just think about it as, uh, as if I was your employer, okay? All right, so your, the project uh, requirements is eight by 10 inches. Uh, and it's 150 dpi. Uh, you can read this uh, when you have uh, time. And right now I just wanted to show you um, how to look for um, photos. So when you go to Google, um, you want to make sure that you go to, um, let's say for instance if you have a skyline. Uh, and you go to images and if you are looking for a uh, picture you want to make sure that you hit search tools and you say size you want to make sure that you hit at least larger than 2 MP okay so when you click on a photo uh, you want to say view image and you want to right click and say save image as and that's how you collect those images okay um, now I've done that already so um, I have a folder it took me quite a while to gather those images sometimes they would take me to crazy websites that have had all these ads and I just did not want to spend that much time on that so um, just want to show you some examples uh, these are some photo collages um, so these type of you want to choose images that wouldn't normally go together so you know that's what makes uh, the scaling of this uh, choice of photography here is what makes it interesting okay so uh, it's up to you what kind of what five images you choose um, but it really should be impactful okay so I know some of these are very um, advanced I don't expect you to do this kind of work already but you know this is this serves you as inspiration of you know what you can do with five different photos um, so I'm gonna go through a tutorial with you today this one looks like something similar similar that we did already with the colorizing so if you have your own camera you can stage something and set it up and and um, and then go in into Photoshop and and just enhance it uh, but that's using five different photos okay so these are just some examples um, this one is very uh, it's just you know if you want to sketch something out to get an idea of what you want to do if you have a, a theme or something like that then uh, that's what uh, you can start by doing okay so um, that's um, those are the examples. Next, I wanted to show you in Photoshop. The first thing you want to do is go to File and New. You want to say 8 by 10 or 10 by 8. It really doesn't matter which uh, which orientation you choose. So you want to make sure it says 8 inches, okay? Uh, 8 by 10 inches and 150 pixels. RGB is fine. Okay, so you say OK. then you want to place your images so normally you would say file place and 
then let's say I want to import this picture. You want to say place. See how it did not go. I, I kind of want this whole image to take over the whole canvas. So didn't quite do that. So I'm going to click on this move tool and it's going to ask me, do you want to place? I'm going to say don't place. Now what I want to do is go into Photoshop and go to my preferences and say general. I want to say, um, this is more than you should know, but this is going to help you. I've been thinking about how I was going to demonstrate this to you. So you want to say, um, resize image during place. You want to unclick that and say, okay. So now when I go to file and place, I want to import that same image and say place. See how it's bigger? Because the image was already bigger. But what it was doing before, it was adjusting it to the canvas of the, um, of the, uh, the, the canvas size. And I, if I do command minus or uh, control minus or this one, this, um, oh, cancel, uh, control minus. Command minus. I can see this has got to be, I'm going to say place. This has got to be, uh, the move tool has to be selected and you have to say show transform controls. You want to click on that so you can see where the actual canvas is. Now I want to hold down on shift and make this, I don't want to make it too small, but I want it to at least reach the whole canvas. Then I want to double click it to kind of tell it okay. And I can move the canvas. I want, because I wanted to get those uh, guys on the camel there because I'm going to put something larger up on the top. Okay? Now just bear with me on this. I know it probably doesn't make any sense right now, but just go with, with the flow. Okay. So now I want to place another image. I'm going to choose a flower. And I'm going to say okay. Now the only way that this is going to work is if these images, they're huge by the way, these images have got to take over the whole canvas. Now if uh, it's okay for me to shrink them but it's not okay for me to enlarge them. Why? Because you're going to pixelate it if you stretch them bigger. Okay so you can you can start from bigger to small but you can go from small to big, okay? That's not how Photoshop works, okay? So double click, and now I can zoom in. Oh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unclick show transform control because after I'm done resizing, I can, I no longer wanna see those boxes. So I do command plus, this is gonna zoom in, and uh, now I have, a photo completely covering the other photo okay so if you have a photo that is halfway up here it's not quite gonna work with what I'm gonna show you it has to complete both photos have to completely cover each other okay all right so now what I want to do is add a mask to the photo on the top and just this one simple thing is gonna make your designs, when I learned the mask tool, that's what made my designs look so much better and it just, it makes you feel like a pro and it's so easy. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna click on the mask tool and that's like the one that looks like a, a square with a circle in the middle, okay? Now you want to add that to the top photo, okay? So it's not gonna quite work if you do it to the one beneath it. Okay, so you need to click on the mask and it's going to create this white little canvas right next to it. So what that is, is the white means that that is the positive and the black is the negative. Okay, so uh, I'll show you right now. So notice that when I click here, it means that these are colors, but when I click here, it turns black and white because it works like 
the white is the positive and the black is the negative. And I'll show you right now. So what I want to do is get the gradient tool. I want to get the gradient tool and you want to click and drag, let's say, a direction of the gradient. So what that's doing is the black is what's diminishing and the white is what actual, actually shows. So you can choose, click and drag, and choose which direction you'd like to show of your image. And I just, I love this. I love doing this. Like, But it, it has more impact when you have like a close-up and you have a, like a far away picture or some of the examples that I showed you. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you is the mask. So you see how the black is kind of what's diminishing and the white is the positive. Okay, so if I wanted to, I can also get the, the uh, brush tool and if I have black at the top, I can, I can delete that and the awesome part is that I can switch to the white and I can bring it back as much as I want. I can, and ever since I learned this tool, I never used the, the eraser again because this tool can let me bring, it just gives you so much more flexibility. And so you can switch back and forth what you want to show and what you don't. Isn't that cool? I love that one. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Um, so you're going to do that with five different photos and create a composition, create a collage, a story, give me a story. Okay, so now I want to get a place, I'm going to get a close-up of, of an eye. Okay, so too big, control minus, and hold down shift and bring it just so it covers the whole. There's nothing worse than like these images that just don't even fit. Like if you find images that are too small and they just go like, up here you have this weird gap that you're not going to know how to fix okay so so you just have to really find as large of an image as you can so the next one I want to place is a world one okay so what I'm going to do you have to double click it in order for it to say are you going to place it yes or no double click click it and it'll get rid of that box. So I'm going to lower the opacity on this one and then I'm going to click on, I have to make sure that I'm on the move tool, I'm going to click on the show transform controls and holding down shift. The reason you hold down shift is because if you don't do that it's not going to scale proportionately and you're going to skew all these images and then you'll have like Especially when you do that to people, it just, they just look elongated and it looks wrong or this globe is no longer going to be a globe, it's going to be an oval and so you don't want to do that. So the reason I, I, did, I lowered the opacity is so I can see right through it, holding down shift and I can see where the eye meets, where I'm kind of like where the eye is which is right about there and I'll double click it to say OK and I will unclick the show transform because I'm done with that and I don't want to see those boxes anymore. So here I'm going to use um, also the um, the mask for this because I want to get rid of the white. So you can click on the mask and uh, then with the brush you want to get rid of the of course the white okay so you want to get rid of the white here and a little bit up here too okay and then when you're done with that maybe you have to make sure that you're sometimes you might think you're on the actual mask you have to be very careful you might be painting over the picture so you have to be very careful you're not painting over the picture. If you do, you have to, I guess if you mess it up really badly, you have to bring in the uh, the original. 
Okay, so once you're done with that, don't go on the, because this is when you're in the mask, this is when you're in the image. You want to go to this, um, th where it says normal, you want to go to this drop down, and maybe there's a better one to blend. So um, maybe the opacity is too low, and you can find a, a better way to blend. And maybe here the, I needed to get rid of more of the white. It started to show up more. So maybe that, that's the one I want to choose this to say. But that's another idea. Okay, so I hope this helps. And I look forward to seeing your compositions. So that's it for right now. And uh, I look forward to, uh, to see what your creative minds uh, are going to create. All right, see you next time. Bye.